Hey guys, I thought I'd make a video on these uh, these fans. I contacted this company, Delta PAG. Um, right there is their contact info. Met these guys at PRI, uh, not last year because PRI didn't happen, but the year before, prior, and had always wanted to uh, to try out their fans. So these are brushless fans with controllers built in. So there's the controller so these fans uh the way they'll be wired in my car is just you know power and ground but you can also uh you know slowly ramp these things up and down no matter what they'll always soft start but you also have the ability to use their uh programmer or their uh their control module to um you know ramp it up slow it down when it's at, at a lower temperature and then ramp it up that's not what i'm going to be doing with my application but I wanted to kind of show that th these guys made the shroud for me according to my specifications. I gave them measurements, they sent me a uh, CAD drawing, and um, I have a very, very tight area to work with in the car, and I had to, a bar actually goes up like this, and it literally lands like right here. Anyway, they nailed it, and I wanted to, you know, kind of give you a walkthrough on this so I'm going to install these things um, I've got my fiance out here to give me a hand so once we get them mounted on the radiator I'll show you them mounted on the radiator and then in the car and show you how tight they are I'll get them wired up and I'll show you how they perform give you some amperage draw on them and whatnot this is their dual 12 inch setup they don't have them just like on a website where you can just order this exact thing you need to contact them they will build the shroud for you They'll, uh, this is exactly how they came out of the box. Like they already wired this up for me. They asked me, you know, kind of what I needed and, um, and they, they wired it up for me. They use uh, Tevzel wire to my surprise, which is nice. The, uh, so basically all I'm gonna have to do is, uh, you know, cut these to length and terminate them on the, on the uh, Deutsch uh, DTP connectors that, um, that I have in the car. So anyway, give me a few and we will get these bolted up onto the radiator, set in the car, and you'll see exactly what I mean by how tight it actually is and how good of a job they actually did. All right, so we got this all mocked up on the, uh, on the radiator. Before I put it in the car, I wanted to show you how tight it actually is. You won't be able to see this once it's in the car, but um, I gave him all these measurements and he cleared all of them uh, exactly how I needed it. So. I uh, was very, very impressed with uh, how accurate he was with the measurements that I gave him versus a CAD file versus actual end product. So this is a, like I said, it's a really tight fit in this car. Uh, so you, you shouldn't have any concerns with uh, dealing with him for, for your radiator and shroud and whatnot. So now we're going to drop this thing in the car and uh, I'll get it um, mounted up and wired and then we'll start uh, playing with you know the electrical side of it and see how it does with uh, amperage draw and whatnot all right give us a minute here all right so got the fans mounted on the radiator got them all wired up put them in the car um and uh what i got here was uh it's as you can see it's super tight down here right so they nailed it with the measurements it's literally resting up against that bar exactly how i wanted it you can it's hard to see in here but uh it's very 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 tight but they got the measurements perfect so what i'm going to do now is turn on um each fan and if we watch this this is a uh, that's an amp clamp so we uh as i turn on each fan i want you to watch the amperage draw um and how how low it is right so all these fans soft start so you'll see you don't have that huge inrush that you know um winds up killing batteries and you know dimming headlights and whatnot so when i press this button you're going to hear the fan do a few things and then you'll see the amperage slowly roll up and the fan will slowly speed up doing was it was finding home 
So since these are brushless fans, they have a controller built, uh, you know, he puts a controller on them. So what it does is it finds home, it, it sees how fast the fan is already spinning, and then it matches that RPM before it actually starts up. So when it's stopped, it, um, you know, it obviously knows that the, the fan isn't spinning. It also is checking to see if there's any resistance on the fan blade or on the fan motor, like if a finger was in there or something. So it was a very slow roll up to right around 12 amps for one fan. So uh, I'm gonna turn the other fan on and this time we're gonna watch the actual fan blade itself if we can get the camera in there. Um, let me see if I can see if I can get that to work. Um, so I'm gonna turn it on and you're gonna see it kind of click a couple times and then it'll take off. Again, that's that finding home and whatnot. Um, so what I showed you before was amperage draw on just one of these fans. These are the 12-inch fans. Um, I'm, we're now going to click both of them on at the same time, and we're going to watch the uh, the amp clamp. And now this is clicking on both of them at the same time. peak right around you know 24 amp for both of them the fans are rated at 12 amp a piece makes sense um, these things haul ass move a ton of air and working with this company was actually pretty nice because they they made them exactly how i wanted them um, and as you can see in the car it's super super tight like this isn't your standard you know mustang throwing a throwing a fan in a mustang so if you've got a custom application let them do it for you uh, I had like no clearance up underneath here. Um, I had like next to no clearance, so we made sure that we set the height at the right spot for the controllers. Uh, it worked out really, really well. So anyway, Delta PAG, the owner of the company's name is John. He's a good dude. Uh, he'll get you taken care of. I think, I think turnaround on him was right around two weeks from when I ordered him to when I received him, two or three weeks, something like that. Uh, but highly recommend. All right, see you.